Hello there, fans. Here I am with my first model train review. It's not a Thomas review yet. This is a review requested by my friend Matt, aka Railfan845. And this is a New York Central, um, oh yeah, 484 engine. And it's a really nice engine. Kind of looks like an American version of Hero, the D51. And. I'm going to go um, not too much into detail, but I'll just do whatever I can. And now I'll make a part two of the sequence of the train running, which will be in another time soon. Anyways, let's start with the tender. Oh, but first, I'll just get to the, the connector. This thing is easy, but only complaint is this is very loose, and I hate that, and it might come off every time when I place it on the track. And look at this. What kind of moron would put wires to connect the engine to the tender? That's just so stupid. You gotta put them in with pliers, actually, as well. And anyways, and I'll get to the tender right now. Here are the wheels. These wheels are... Oh, this is DCC, by the way. And so it'll light up when it's on the track. It's got one, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, seven sets of wheels. This two, I don't know what they were thinking. They, 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 this is the only one that's like swing. That is do, is so weird, but it's the only way for the tender roller on the track. So if that's gonna roll, hmm, why not do this one? Really? It's just so weird. There's the coupler. It, it looks real with the spring on it. And here's the writing. Let's turn the engine around, maybe. And I better get the. Be careful not to spring any of the wires, though. Um, they also made the axles that are holding the wheels, like not these axles, but the the wheel holders on the tender look real. There's a little um step ladder, and there's the peg to connect it. It's all the same, it's really bugging. And here's the number, by the way. It's six thousand nine. And the boot and like the little bolts on the tender are real. And this is New York Central. And, and the ladders. Right here is the ladder. And more of this axle stuff. And this is the coal load. Looks well, maybe it does look real. I don't know. You comment me, please. Um And they got this little thing. I believe this could be well, no wait, this is the light. I don't know what this is, but I know this little little bib here. This is where you put the water in on the train. Yeah, this is where you put the water in. And on the back, we have, again, oh, actually, no. This is actually how heavy this engine is. Well, we've got the number 6009, which is the engine locomotive number. Let's point to this. It says, um, you can't see it. Yeah, I knew it. It says 8,000 gallons, and 40 on the other side of the lamp, it says 46 tons. One heavy engine, huh? Really? This has realistic bolts. Oh. And now that the tender's done, I'm going to get to the train itself. Oh. My bad. Okay. Here's the cab. I'll get to that later. But I do have the number 6,009. And I'll just see it. Oh, yeah, and it says S1B. What is that supposed to be? What is that supposed to mean? And the wheels. I love how they created the side rods. And I mean, this would look like an American version of Hero, as mentioned before. But I, I can't customize it to look like Hero. I've got these little trailer wheels and these wheels right here. Yep. Maybe I better get to the under of the train though. Hmm. This is a really heavy engine. Okay. This boggies will always sway around anytime. That's the purpose. I love the pistons on engines when they move. The smoke box and one of the smoke deflectors. Oh, and the bulletins of the smoke deflectors still look so real. And also, 
Oh, excuse my finger getting away. I'm recording every video I have on my iPod. And I gotta buy a better camera soon as well. Here's this little boggies here, like in the set. And I better make sure these don't break off. Another spring, a cow catcher. Now I'm gonna turn the engine around. I better be very careful with this train. All right, it's got a gray front with lamps. Oh, excuse this one, by the way. When I took this out, I got this for Christmas, actually, and uh, I took it out of the box roughly, and it kind of broke. But the only way I could do it is pushing it in, and i got to find proper glue for that thing later. Sorry, folks. Anyways. Uh, right in, like, the center, the front of the engine, we see right here, 6,000, and I know a lot of you can't read. I'm just going to look at this anyway, uh, under the number. Ah, damn, I can't read that well. I'm gonna pick it up. Oh, it says New York Central System. Yeah, it says New York Central System. And it's got all the ladders, the stairways, and the smoke deflectors, and the lamp. Yeah, it, it will turn on because it's a DCC engine. These little things here will actually... I don't know what these are. I'm actually using my fingers on them. They can actually flip so the coupler. Unlike this one, I don't think it would sway around, but you could just make it sway around with only with your finger. So the cow catcher looks real. Step ladder, the front, and and this is I don't know what this box right here is, but I'd find out soon. And I think this engine might make any smoke, you know, if you know put like whatever those things are called. We got this little, like, gray thing. I don't know what that is. But still, the bolts on this train look so real. You got the little stripes on it. Well, I know they're, they're supposed to connect them. They're not paint. Huh? And these, this bit here with these four buttons, I don't know what they do either. And seriously, I don't know anything about American locomotives. Well, on, what's on locomotives that much? Please leave me a comment if you want to answer my questions. I don't know what this is. I think this is the dough, maybe. And this, I know what you're thinking. No, that's not the whistle. This, all right, this is. Weird, how can you have a whistle, which should be here, when, when having a whistle in the front, it shouldn't be there, it should be there. By the way, I think this looks a lot like the whistle we see on James from Thomas and Friends, yep. I'll review him someday, but not now. I'm too busy with this guy. The handrails. I better make sure these don't break off either. The pistons and these things that hold, like, the side rods and all that. And this little, like, under the smoke deflector, this squiggly thing here. I have no idea what that is. And I gotta be careful. And this horn... Oh, shape looking thing. I don't know what it is. This I don't know what it is either. I like the cab still. It's got more nice detailing I gotta get to the stupid cab. All right, here it is the engines cab I can't risk taking the wires off That will be painful And they could break and I'll never run this thing again and eventually, this is actually uh, like a 21 radius kind of engine. Yeah, of course, it's 21 radius. So, soon I might buy the proper tracks for this thing. And, like, you could see, like, there's fireboxes and, like, bips and bops. Maybe I'll talk about that another time. And, I mean, another time. Excuse my light, my English, though. And I will make a part two of the review. And this only part is me running the engine on both loops of the treble. Not this loop, because I know it will fall off and it will break. So, and until then, see you later, folks. Goodbye.